uh, good morning everyone and today we are going to begin uh, our new program on speaking skills so we have our guest from karnool uh, mr rashekha is a english teacher he would like to speak to you uh, the introduction on the importance of speaking skills uh, for degree students in a nowadays or for this generation so now i welcome mr rashekar sir to introduce and uh, proceed uh, the topic thank you sir thank you balu very good morning all my dear students i am a teacher of english from ap resident school sri sinam so just now my friend balagrubaiya has asked me to speak about the importance of spoken english for degree students so we all have the same type of mind to encourage students to motivate students to inspire the students for achieving their heights great heights so when my friend balagunya has asked me to speak immediately i said okay so it is my pleasure to speak to all degree students in order to motivate them so coming to the main topic the importance of spoken english spoken english is very important nowadays in everybody's life not only a degree students life in everybody even uh, if you take uh, uh, students of school if you take uh, students of uh, colleges if you take uh, students of university so for every student spoken english is very is very very important because spoken english uh, gives students a lot of confidence knowingly or unknowingly if you start speaking in english automatically you will get uh, more confidence and also you you feel that you can do anything you can achieve anything that is the power of spoken english but in order to achieve a good communication in english a student should do hard work so it may be uh, it may be a small speech you may practice a small speech to get proficiency in a speaking skill what you should do is should you have the habit of speaking in english with everybody so you should inculcate the habit of speaking in english with everybody whether it is uh, right or wrong whatever you are speaking is right or wrong that is out of question but always try to speak in english with everybody so that is what we also did now we are uh, capable enough to speak with uh, any anywhere anywhere with anyone similarly i urge i request you all also to inculcate the habit of speaking english with everybody so just uh, before you start speaking english try to acquire minimum skills like learning uh, basics in english learning basic grammar in english learning basic vocabulary in english and reading uh, english newspaper and uh, listening to news so now uh, at this juncture i want to tell you one thing so i i told you uh, you were a teacher you were lecturer mr balagruvayya and uh, myself were pg classmates so balagruvayya had a very good habit he used to listen to english news on radio when he uh, when he was in pg at panichay central university so uh i happened to be his friend so by by observing his habit only 
I also developed the same good habit, listening to news on radio. So listening to news on radio is very good habit that helps you to learn how to speak, that helps you to acquire minimum uh, minimum way of speaking, no minimum vocabulary also you can acquire, you can achieve, you can get. So just one example I'm telling you, if you listen to radio, how you can uh, uh, gain knowledge in speaking skill. Okay, now. So the second point is not only just listening to uh, radios, okay, now. watch English movies, watch English news on, on, on TV. Okay, now. Um, so your aim should be only achieving the proficiency in English. For that, you should do everything. Okay. Um, uh, read English story books, uh, read English newspaper. Before reading, remember uh, there are uh, mainly four skills. There are more, there are mainly four skills for any language. It may be English or Telugu, it may be Hindi or any other language. Okay, na? so there are mainly four skills. First, listening skill. As I told you, listen to uh, radio for English news. Listen to uh, English movies. Okay, na? watch and listen. So that is a good habit. So after listening skill, you should be very good listener, not just a casual listener. You should be very good listener. Okay, then only you can achieve, you can uh, get command over listening skill. So uh, when you listen, observe how the speakers are speaking, how uh, the dialogues, the speakers are delivering. Okay, you can observe on radio, you can observe on TV also. Similarly, you can also, can also try, also to, try speak. to speak. That is speaking skill, second, second skill in, in any language. So try to speak similarly. Okay, now. Next, after speaking skill, reading. Read, uh, read any small stories. Read, uh, read stories which has, which have very simple language. Read any story which has very simple language. Reading daily English newspaper. English newspaper is the best one to acquire or to get command over reading skill. Next, writing skill. You always uh, keep writing in English, whatever you think. Whatever you think. Suppose if you want to write a letter to your uh, uh, principal, your college, write a letter in English. You don't have to write in Telugu. Already you, you are very good at Telugu. But now you want to achieve proficiency in English. So try to have the habit of writing in English a letter. It may be letter, it may be anything, anything else. So try to have the habit of writing something in English. That may be uh, a short paragraph consisting uh, two, three lines. Gradually, no, your, your uh, paragraph lines will increase. But slowly, slowly, try to participate in uh, essay writing competitions in English about any general topic in your school. There may be a lot of competitions like uh, elocution competition and uh, essay writing competitions. Participate in elocution competitions. Participate in uh, um, essay writing competitions in English. And at the end, I want to tell you, my dear boys, here, if you want to become a good speaker in English, you can, but the thing is, most importantly, what you should have is the passion, the zeal, the determination. If you have determination, if you have zeal, if you have, if you have passion strongly, definitely, you can become a good speaker in English. So, slow, slowly, in the beginning, it may be very difficult. But man can achieve anything. Remember this. So, with the patience, slow, slowly, uh, try to learn all these four skills. Listening, speaking, reading, writing. Focus on these four skills, one by one. At the end, finally, in your life, you can become a good speaker in English. If you become a good speaker in English, definitely, what happens if you are good at in English? If you are good at English, what happens, you know? you will have more confidence to achieve anything in your life, to achieve any goal in your life. 
so this is what i want to tell you um, on this platform so spoken english plays vital role in every student's life so thank you students for listening to my message thank my friend balagru also for inviting me to speak to the students thank you yeah thank you very much uh, mr rajshekar for sparing your time at this early morning for our students so you have talked about the the importance of listening skills and how to acquire them and uh, it's very nicely sir and uh, i also have some points to share with you not, not only you with all the our members who i have participants so so when i plan this meeting immediately i google some information how to learn speaking skills so there are some websites uh, which are uh, relevant to matter i have gained from the websites also so there are number of ways but i have collected 10 ways from one website the same things may might have you covered but the uncovered things you will uh, notice i hope so the first one they say imitate so the same thing you have said we have to watch videos or our famous actors and we imitate their style their way of speaking and the second one is avoid learning word by word so we should not learn words from the dictionary or uh, one pick up uh, picking up some small words and speak it it takes uh, difficulty so we have to follow the sentences or dialogues as it is so learning word by word it's a uh, should uh, omit or avoid the third one is use what you have learned immediately suppose you use already some phrase good phrase uh, so something uh, na- uh, something is better than nothing you use it in your daily conversation somewhere when it is happened or make it happen create the situation and use the same dialogue that will give you more uh, remembrance a nice word and uh, be an actor it says and uh, give me a just small um, one second my friend is willing to join here i will also request him he will join soon yeah now yeah the be an actor means we have to act according to the the same we watch english movies and the way they act you you can pause here there is a lot of facilities in our mobile phone now previously we watch tv we never stop so we don't know how to you know repeat them because it's a past now we have android mobile phones you can stop anywhere you want and you can repeat again you can watch again and again and you can even get the subtitles also and you can understand what they are speaking and you can repeat as an actor first you act uh, sentences gradually you act their uh, mood and the tone and the emotions the same the, the way actors acted and it will be you know, you can own our selves your results and the fifth one is listen to others as much as you speak so you have to give a uh, top priority to the listening instead of uh, speaking when somebody is speaking and narrate your life so in day to day life what you are doing from the beginning of the day and uh, still you sleep or uh, till you end so that time what are you doing what are your activities and you talk about them what did you do at running or what did you do at your college and how did you manage your exams you explain the students or with your friends in english that will help you a lot and the last one uh, next one listen to yourself most of the students or most of the people then they don't listen to themselves means they don't talk like you have to talk yourself you open any record or any uh, mobile recorder or you talk to yourself something you are planning loudly or uh, something you read loudly and uh, look at the look at your voice and the tone 
on everything you will fall in love with your voice so first you love yourself and you love your voice gradually you can uh, like to speak to others because you love your voice you want to listen again and again and again become visual when you are learning something like words don't learn words as it is you try to search in the google and find out the visuals images suppose i want to learn quick so i type in quick in google and find images oh quick means some images will come i can connect my words simply with that image then it's very easy to remember not only quick there are number of words we can search in google and we can learn with association of the images and start singing so uh, go to english websites or youtube there are number of songs available you can listen to them and you can uh, get some uh, even you can get that song from google also you type the same song uh, li for lyrics you can get the lyrics and play the song and now read the lyrics you will understand what they are singing so soon you will also sing like the same way so like that we can learn english so most of the songs have grammar we can learn grammar also through the songs the thing is we have to enjoy the songs again the tenth one know your priorities this is the top most one i liked it so without knowing our priorities why are you learning english that's very very important so if you have passion as my friend said if you have passion to learn nobody and nothing will stop you from learning english so why are you learning english you put your put your question to yourself for uh, for academic purposes for business for job uh, or for any other purpose immediately you make the priority top and uh, you can focus on learning more efficiently so if you know what you are doing if you know where are you learning then your focus will be increased gradually so that's what i have seen from the websites and almost my friend has covered all the things so and that's what i want to share now the platform is yours you can spark you can speak uh, your own opinions since is the speaking skills everyone uh, should get the opportunity now our participant uh, ravindra nath tagore is there so uh, mr tagore can you talk about our session yes mr tagore are you there hello tagore oh it seems he might be away uh, i again i call my friend rashekar uh, rashekar please come to the screen yeah see actually i have planned it in such a way once uh, once again yes yeah, at this uh, platform uh, i want to tell my own uh, experience Yes, sir. No, my own way of uh, learning English. So, I tell you the bitter truth. You know, uh, when I was in PZ, uh, Balu is my voice uh, resonant. It's audible. Well, well. Okay. So. when i was busy even i did not know the able to speak english that means it was very poor at english but still i wanted to do speak in english so reading when i was in pg reading english literature books is very difficult i felt so but i wanted to overcome the problem so i clearly understood one thing so doing a main english firstly i need to 
acquire a good command over language. For that, I started. This is spoken English. For learning spoken English, what I did, you know, as I have told you all now, I started listening to news. I started watching movies in English. I started reading simple story books. I started daily English newspapers. While reading English newspaper, I was unable to understand even a, sm a small paragraph in the newspaper, the, in the, in the, the, Hindu, the Hindu newspaper. I subscribed to the Hindu newspaper for just uh, reading sake, for learning English. So in the beginning, I felt it very, very difficult to understand the, the new story in the, news, in the, the Hindu newspaper. Even a, a small story, even a small paragraph, I was unable to understand. But I was very determined so that I continued because I had a perseverance. Perseverance means even if you face difficult, some difficulties in doing, we should continue. That is a, uh, that kind of habit is called perseverance. So as I had perseverance, I continued. Though I was unable to understand what I am reading in the newspaper, I continued my habit. At the end, what my goal? As you said, Balu, priority is more important. The purpose we should know why we are learning English. The purpose is we should learn a good English language. Without learning English language, I think uh, that time I felt uh, there is no my life. My life is, is waste. So by hook or crook, I wanted to learn. So I continued. Uh, I faced so many difficulties while listening to uh, uh, radio, while watching English movies, while reading newspapers. Oh, no, while reading uh, English story books, I felt very difficult. I felt very difficult. I was unable to understand. I was unable to understand anything while listening, while reading. But I continued my habit. That is called perseverance. So while reading newspaper, you know what I did? Uh, I used to underline the words which I did not understand. And uh, I used to keep uh, uh, English Oxford Dictionary. Okay. And beside newspaper, I used to underline uh, the words which I didn't understand with pencil. And I used to note down in my notebook. After reading uh, um, one, uh, in one uh, story or one uh, news story, after noting down some difficult words in my notebook, I used to look up my dictionary. I used to refer to my dictionary to find out the odd words meanings. And I used to note down the odd words meanings. As my friend Balu said, whatever words I learn every day, daily, my target is daily, I should learn 20 words. 20 words from newspaper. So daily 20 words meanings I used to learn. After learning, simply I did not uh, note down the meanings and I did not close my book. I learned them. I buy hard at them. And immediately, as my friend Balu said, I used those words in my daily communication. You know, when I, when I was uh, uh, speaking with uh, all my friends in the uh, university campus, with new, new, new words, they used to wonder, hey, you are speaking with uh, new, new words, which I am, I, am, I, am all, I am unable to understand. Like that, they used to tell me, my friends used to tell me. So what I'm trying to say here is, whatever words, meanings you learn daily, keep, keep target for yourself. If you are very poor, if you have very poor vocabulary, daily, you should learn 10 words from English newspaper or from any other source. Daily learn 10 words, meanings, and use them in your daily communication. Okay, if you do so for a long time, what happens, you know, your vocabulary improves. Automatically, unknowingly, you will learn English language. That gives you a lot of confidence. And it will, it will be very interesting also. 
so enjoy what you are doing always enjoy what you are doing you can enjoy the work that you are doing when you like it the most first enjoy the work first like the work that you are doing then you can automatically enjoy the work that you are doing you don't feel it difficulty for for liking the work that you are doing for enjoying the work that you are doing first you should understand the purpose of what you are doing if we have the clear purpose why you are learning automatically you can like it and you can enjoy the work so this is what i want to tell you no uh, i uh, i did it for around 6 uh, months uh, while watching movies also i used to switch on i used to turn on subtitles i used to listen to the speaker on uh, tv and uh, i used to read subtitles then only we can understand what they are speaking while listening while watching while reading english newspapers also we should observe uh, in which tense form it is okay uh, in which grammar type the sentence is everything uh, so observe um, the sentence formations observe the way uh, the english uh, uh, dialogues are written observe uh, the way um, news story is written in the in the uh, newspaper and of course we cannot avoid um, some grammar books you should you should do, uh, go through some grammar books you should learn minimum uh, uh, basic grammar okay na for example uh, take tenses voice speech okay na minimum uh, grammar knowledge also you need for uh, speaking in english minimum vocabulary you need for speaking in english okay na for that you go through some grammar books you you please uh, buy um raymond murphy uh, english grammar books raymond murphy english grammar books which are very uh, good books uh, i feel for english medium students if you are english medium student they are the best books for learning spoken english why they they are the best books in my view because one side um they give how to learn grammar the other side they will give you chance for practicing so many things okay na so you can learn and you can practice that is very good that is a, that is very good part of that book so rema murphy english grammar book you can go through if you are telling me your student there are many materials in a uh, um, market like uh, no i i when i was uh, in intermediate i uh, read amrita spoken english book which costs only 35 rupees in the market so that book is in bilingual that is in english medium and telugu medium okay na so uh, whatever line you you read you learn that it will be in english and telugu so amrita spoken english book is also a very good book for uh, telugu medium students for uh, learning a, a basic grammar so go through some uh, uh, grammar books learning grammar okay read uh, english newspapers english story books okay na any other book even uh, from your own academy books also you can read your own when you read your own academy books also okay try to learn every word meanings that is also one way one, uh, one of the ways to learn to improve vocabulary so uh, these are the no uh, best uh, suggestions i can give you for uh, becoming a good speaker in english and uh, keep uh, um, writing whatever you learn okay na so whatever you think keep uh, inculcate the habit of writing in english so listening speaking uh, reading writing so these four skills help you so uh, get try to get command over these four skills definitely undoubtedly you can become a good speaker you can be good at english that's all there is no doubt about it so english language plays a vital role in everybody's life nowadays so um please learn english language so i appreciate my friend balu guruvayya for starting this program spoken english program for uh, 
college students so it is very good thing it's very good platform please utilize i i request all students to utilize this uh, english uh, spoken english program for learning english for improving your english okay so uh, english language helps you uh, to achieve any goal in english language helps you for your life that's what i want to tell you so i once again uh, I thank my friend Balagrovaya, and I, I thank all the students for uh, inviting me to speak about the importance of English language. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rasekar, for such a uh, brilliant idea and uh, good message to learn English and the importance of English in the present generation. And now I welcome uh, Sri Konda Vinay Kumar uh, just to have some impressions uh, without any information i have called him to the meeting however so his uh, experience with english and uh, is he able to speak in english now or is he learning now he said no <laughs> anyhow that's okay fine you can talk oh i'm sleeping i said okay we will uh, meet uh, on another occasion and I will remove you. Remove. Yeah. So, that's very nice talking, uh, Mr. Rashegar. And I also request my students to utilize this service. And, uh, let, their, uh, let them sharpen their uh, skills in speaking English. That's only happen uh, from experience I have seen you uh, with a practice only that's possible you have that is like a helpless practice or we can say the whoever the important people in the practice you did such a practice that, that nobody stops you from learning English really you are you inspired us and um, really when we talk somewhere we remember you for your that uh, bold and uh, iron will power of uh, iron will to stick to english to speak in english in um, in conversations so I really appreciate you mr rashekar and also we learned uh, that uh, power of uh, will power will learn from you to stick to the one idea we we have in mind and now i request mr ravindranath tagore to speak are you there I think he is out of. Yeah, he is there. Yes, I am there. Yeah. Do you know how to speak English? Sir, now, my, uh, now I am Rashtrakar, sir, uh, talking to. I am uh, listening to Sihan uh, and Moon. Okay, did you understand what Rasa Sakar said? Yes, sir, I understand. Uh, watching, watching and uh, movies are uh, watching and uh, read on newspaper. Uh, English sentence are uh, dictionary check. Uh, daily 20 words uh, uh, prepare the uh, uh, Something uh, daily twenty words uh, reading. I last mm -hmm. uh, I understand you. Okay, can you practice? Practice. Uh, no, I'm asking you. Can you practice daily? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Daily, I am um, practice uh, in this time. In this time, particularly, I am daily. Uh, daily, I am practice twenty words. Very nice. Uh, buy a English newspaper from market. Focus. Okay, yeah, nice talking to you, Mr. Ravana Tagore. Please uh, follow the same uh, class every morning from six to seven. And uh, okay. definitely, after a few days or a few months. We will acquire the skill of practice uh, speaking English. 
ஒன்ஸ்ல ஒன்ஸ்ட் the same experience i underwent you should not stop keep speaking in english whatever you learn whatever you have in your mind try to express in english language but when you when you uh, practice this, when you have this habit for long time one day you will become a perfect speaker so try to speak in english daily whether you are making mistakes or not that is out of question keep practicing keep speaking in english with everybody one day you will become perfect in english this is what the i want to tell you this is my last session i want to give every one of you thank you balu yeah have a good time have a great day yes thank you balu thank you as sir and uh, we have finished this session uh, with the concluding line that's a great session we had thank you very much for uh, attending this session